When we were touring the fire uh, departments, a commonality between uh, a lot of the different uh, sites that we saw that they had different groups, either different stations or uh, schedules for their firefighters if they were volunteer firefighters. And they needed a portable device that could be brought from one place to another. And that was really the, the need that, that drove the System 64 is something that can be set up, the training can be executed, and it can be shared from multiple locations or within one fire department if they have varied schedules or, or varied locations. Well, the System 64 is a propane fueled exterior firefighter trainer. It's basically built of a burn pan that's four foot by six foot, the equipment box that holds all the valve equipment and the pilot assemblies, then you have a control panel, and then all of the hoses and connections that would attach that back to the electrical where we just simply run on 120 volts and to the propane fuel supply for it. There's a heavy duty grating on top of the burn pan and on top of that we can put a variety of props. What we have at this stage, our initial focus has been NFPA 1001, and so we developed a car prop for the unit, we developed a propane cylinder prop, then also a propane tank prop for the flammable gas, a dumpster, a pallet, then we've also developed a barbecue prop and a flange prop and an electric motor prop, and you have an idea, come and talk to us because we can develop the prop to meet that need. <laughs> It is important not only to have textbook learning or online learning, but also to have that hands-on experience so when you're called upon an emergency to deal with the situation at hand. So I'm an engineer at Dragger during the days and firefighter on call in the evenings. So in smaller areas like where I come from, recruits and ongoing employees of the fire department don't get that much exposure to live fire. If you picture the calls that a fire department would make in a year of hundreds of calls, uh, only a handful are actually going to be uh, live fire calls. Firefighters, uh, especially volunteer firefighters, are extremely busy uh, in their, their personal lives and uh, often very dedicated to the community uh, responding to emergencies. So we have to have a flexible model to uh, deliver training and uh, sometimes the flexibility of having it in your local municipality is a huge benefit than having to travel. So it's really been kind of an evolution taking uh, technology that we have in our big fixed systems and putting it in a small scale portable training system. We offer trailers that you can use to carry the equipment around in. If you're working with some of the smaller props, it's easy to even do it in the back of a pickup truck. Put the burn pan down, bring the equipment panel over beside it. If you run the connections to the tank, you'd run the connections to your own propane supply. You're looking at both a vapor connection that runs the pilot assembly, then we use liquid propane supply in the burner assembly. The control panel operates on 120 volts, 60 hertz, a standard 15 amp connection. The last thing that you need is a standard water hose. First thing you'd use it for is to fill the burn pan with water. It is a water bath system that we use for it, so all of the burners are underneath the water and the propane is injected into the water and bubbles to the surface. With the water-cooled props we have, we can ensure that you're not gonna get distortion on the props from the amount of fire that they're seeing. On top of the burn pan, there's some heavy duty grating, allowing you to change the training that you're going to do in a matter of minutes. Within each of the prop, there are a variety of features. With the propane cylinder, you have an auxiliary connection that goes to the pop-off valve and will throw a fire up 15 to 20 feet in the air above that prop. With the car, we have uh, an engine mount, so you have an idea of the fire you're fighting in an engine. We have a wheel fire on the outside of the car. We can operate in the engine area, the passenger area, or the trunk. Because of the size the fire it gives, is very effective as a nozzle handling device. So you can have multiple teams going in, say a dual fog pattern on the flammable gas with the propane cylinder. You've got a sufficient fire for them to properly operate the fog and do what's necessary in the nozzle controls. So it's open for a variety of the training and you look at the variations you get from one region to another and how they want to use the props. The basic 
safety measure on the, on the device is an emergency stop. When that's pressed, the pilot would shut off. The main burners would also shut off. If the pilot were ever to get knocked out, the main fires go out. There's no uh, release of, of propane in that case. Our responsibility here at Drager would be to maintain reliable products and keep abreast with changes in the expectations of the fire service with the technology that we offer. The big advantage is to increase the number of firefighters that can get the training on it. By making a product more affordable for the fire departments, more of them will be able to own the devices so that more firefighters will have more time that they can spend on the training. Practice improves performance and you end up with firefighters that know what they're doing when they arrive at the real world scene. You have the ability to do all your exterior training to meet the NFPA 1001. There are extra props available to meet anything you'd have on the industrial side in NFPA 1081. The System 64 allows a fire department to buy a versatile fire trainer without spending every dollar they've got in their capital budget.